What evidence do you have? What signs do you have that the House is not, that, that, that was not a one-time event in 2012 that is trending red? Well, I mean, pretty much since, the, if you look at the presidential year elections, I mean, all the way back, uh, you know, from 94, or what, well, from 2004 through 2008, uh, you saw a slight tip, tick down in the number of Democrats, uh, or votes that Democrats were getting uh, from like 923,000 to 901,000. Uh, this past year, you know, kind of comparing presidential year elections to other presidential year elections, the you know, Democrat vote total was, you know, this, and what I mean by that is every single Democrat that ran for House of Delegates, adding their votes together, they got 577,000 votes, which is a 36% decrease in just one year. Um, so it had been going down, but this was a pretty big drop off. The Repub while the Republican number has just been slowly inching up. And so, uh, you know, I don't think it's something that's going to happen all – it, it hasn't been something that's going to happen all at once. It's been a very gradual thing, really, all the way back since, like, 96. But if – and a lot of that – is a lot of that drop, though, from 2012 for the Democrats has to do with Obama at the top of the ticket, which obviously cut down dramatically, even though we have no numbers, but I would guess it cut down dramatically on straight ticket votes. And, and, will, um, and will, that, will that be different in 2016 when maybe you have a Hillary Clinton, which is pretty well liked, who's pretty well liked in West Virginia? I mean, I think you could see that. I mean, I think the other factor too is the redistricting. Uh, you know, you had a lot of, of more smaller districts with fewer members, and Republicans tend to do better uh, in those. Um, and, and the other thing too is just you had fewer candidates. You know, the, the Republicans are running more candidates. The Democrats are, are running fewer. Um, you know, and you can't you can't win if you don't run. That's really an interesting uh, stat, too, and you talk about that in your numbers. I wrote about that today. In 2008, there were only 62 Republican House candidates. There are 100 seats up. There were 62 Republican House candidates compared with 93 Democrats. In 2012, four years later, there were 82 Republican. That's a 25 percent. That's a, uh, what is that? That's, that's a 30 percent increase, right? Uh, and 87 Democratic candidates. So th there was almost an equal number of Republican as Democratic candidates, which is almost, I, I, I don't know how far back you went. That's almost unheard of in the House. Oh, House yeah. Races. I mean, the, the only time, well, back, you know, back in 2004, uh, you know, the uh, Chris Warner and those guys actually did go out and get 100 candidates. But, you know, that year being the exception, you know, this is by, you know, this is the most that they've ever had. Um, and, you know, I think that plays a lot into it as well. And, and really not just that, but I think these guys, you know, the Tim Armsteads and the Eric Nelsons and guys like that, uh, Troy Andes, you know, they really did go out and, uh, and John O'Neill and other delegates, you know, found other viable candidates to run for House delegates. And, you know, when the Republicans put up a viable uh, candidate, you know, when, that's presenting the facts, you know, that's running a, a good, aggressive campaign, they get a better shot at winning, and I think that's what you're seeing, too. Well, a key word is viable, and this is the dirty little secret nobody likes to talk about, but everybody knows it in the Republican Party, is there are candidates who are perennial candidates. There are candidates when they show up and they go, I want to run, and, and, and re other Republicans just roll their eyes because they know they have no chance of winning. But they've got to say, well, or how, it's just, you've got to have viable candidates. People have a chance to win. But well, I would even say about those people, Hoppy, I mean, those kind of people used to get beat three to one or four to one now those people are running close races and i think you have other potential candidates that look at it and say hey here's this person that hasn't you know in the past hasn't done very well they're doing better what if i stepped out there and went and put myself forward and you know raised money and and worked the voters and got my message out how would i do and i think that's what you're seeing more of and that's why the republicans are being more successful